What's up, y'all? It's your boy Debbie, and I'm back with part three of the Green Bay Doubles on Mini Scheme. And this one's Corner Strike. It's been a play that we've used for years and then, and this year it's even better. The way I like to run it most of the time is I put two drags on both the tight end and the slot. That way it's easier to make the read on the cloud flash and the hard flash because I feel like they bait you if you got to make the read real quick. So I'm able to use these drag routes. Also, like a long gated flat route, able to get big yards to both my tight end and my slot receiver, and sometimes open up the C route when people want to get cute and start putting hard flats on the field. So, like I said, that's the main setup. Just drag your tight end, drag your slot, and go to work. Like I said, I put the main, my best receiver at Y. That way, he's able to, you know, a lot of different plays utilize Y. And that's why I put Julio Jones. But here you can see they want to play soft. Cloud flash, you go ahead and take it underneath with Julio Jones. Get some yards, hit him with the juke. You know, the jukes are crazy. Make sure you're utilizing the jukes and the spin moves to get bigger yards. This time they go hard flats. We hit the C route, get about 20 yards to Taylor Gabriel. On this side, we're going to go over here. We're going to hit Muhammad Sanu. Possession catcher in front of the deep blue. Because when you possession catch, you catch the ball. That's the way Man 18 is working right now. And you see it again over here. Possession catch near the sideline. Muhammad Sanu with traffic still makes the play. And this is the main way I'm attacking defenses for short yards and pretty much a play you can run almost every play because of how easily it attacks both the cloud flats and the hard flats. And we go in game. Like I said, I put my best receiver, Julio Jones, in the slot. We can hit him right here. Get upfield, juke one person. Try not to take a hit like that, but it happens to the best of us. And here we go again. You want to leave the flats open? We're going to take him with Julio Jones. So this is a play that you know, we've used for years, and you can run it a bunch of different ways. You can leave a flat route, put a baby in, but ideally what you want to do is put a route that takes the hard flat, makes it play hard flat, and you can go to C route. But most of the time you're going to hit this drag because people don't want to play that aggressive. They'll be sitting in clouds or purples, but you got to make the read, and what the drags do, they allow you to make the read easier. You know, by the time you're able to go to drag, the cloud flat could be 10 to 15 yards down the field. So whereas a flat route might get you five yards, by utilizing the drag instead, it can easily get you up to, you know, 10 yards, 10, 15 yards if you make a good move. And that was just cover three match to John Ross. So this is part three, probably the easiest setup, probably the easiest play that you can take and implement into your game. Mix it with the flanker dig and the PA stutter post and you're already creating a little scheme. Like I said, I need 200 likes. I'm going to go ahead and put out... Part four and part four is a banger, so make sure y'all get ready for that. Part five is going to be tough, and this is actually the scheme I'm going to use in New York this weekend. And it's been tried, trust, tested, and everything. I've been running it all in top 10 in the Mutt Salary Cap leaderboards with this scheme. So make sure y'all take a look at it. Tell me what y'all like, tell me what y'all don't like. 200 likes, hit the sub, and we're going to be back with part four sooner than later. Need